Extra with Conan Nolan. Welcome to News Conference Extra, a special interview segment on the Sunday morning edition of Today in L.A. I'm Conan Nolan. President Obama this week will be visiting Asia, touring Japan, South Korea, Malaysia, and the Philippines in large measure to help solidify support for the controversial Trans-Pacific Partnership, a free trade agreement that will eliminate tariffs between 10 different countries. The president supports it, but even members of his own party are in opposition on Capitol Hill. With us on on that topic and on the ongoing issue of problems in the Ukraine, the Honorable Brad Sherman, Democrat of Sherman Oaks and a member of the House Foreign Relations Committee, ranking member on the Subcommittee on Trade. Thank you very much for joining us. Good to be with you. On the uh, Trans-Pacific Partnership, where do you stand? It hasn't been written yet, but I'm very skeptical. Why? Well, first, our overall trade policy has been to focus on procedures and not results. And so we get rid of our tariffs and that opens our markets to goods. They change their published tariffs, but other countries are extremely good at non-tariff barriers. Like? Uh, well, China, for example, they tell their companies whether to import U.S. goods or not. And uh, if a particular business does the wrong thing, uh, its uh, owner could find uh, they lose their business uh, or even their freedom. How much of this is a concern raised by organized labor, such as the United Auto Workers, who have said that if Japan, if we lower the tariffs on Japanese imported cars, they're going to just sell more at the cost of American jobs? Well, that's a concern, but I, I've been in opposition to, to these agreements uh, uh, long before we were dealing with, uh, with Japan, and Japan may not be part of the Trans-Pacific uh, Partnership. Uh, this deal was shaping up to basically be a deal between the United States and Vietnam. Vietnam is, a, is one of the lowest wage countries in the world, about 30 cents an hour, uh, much cheaper than China. And uh, when you looked at how this deal was originally shaping up, there were a number of countries in it that we already had free trade agreements with, and then the big addition would have been Vietnam. Now Japan and, and South Korea are both looking at getting involved. Right. If Japan doesn't get involved, though, that hurts the state of California, because although you would lower tariffs for automobile imports, they would lower tariffs on, on crops and commodities that California sells. and, and for example, rice, the rice growers in California would love to have that market. Uh, I th Japan very much does not want to lower tariffs on rice. The, uh, the party that's in power is the party that has uh, a lot of support from the rural areas of Japan. And uh, I would be very surprised if, uh, if you saw that their market really opening up to our agricultural goods. The president has asked for fast-track status, mm -hmm. giving him greater leeway in dealing with these mm -hmm. trade agreements and limited congressional debate. I, assu mm -hmm. I assume you oppose that as well. I do in part because there's nothing in there that deals with the rules of origin. And what happens in these deals is goods that are 65% made in China, 35% finished in another country, uh, that we do have a free trade agreement like South Korea come into our country duty-free but we get no access to the Chinese market and we're being set up to do that again and that's 65 percent made in China that they admit to so the goods could be 70 80 percent made in China and uh, free access to the United States. How is it that the Democratic Party on Capitol Hill so many members like yourself are now saying no to the Democratic president would that have happened in his first term? Yes, uh, uh, a lot of us are quite skeptical of these trade agreements. Well, what because is he the, missing on this deal? What he's missing is you go to the universities and they conjure up a world in which there are, oh, if we just lower tariff barriers, we have free trade. Because that's the way America works, and that's the way model countries in economics textbooks work. We're pretty close to the, uh, uh, to, to the model. They don't understand that in other countries, you don't have access to their market just because they've changed their published rules and regulations. So he's too professorial? This is the Ivy League president? Well... Ivy Tower, I should say. Th there's, th there's that. And then you have the constant repetition of why that's a good idea that comes from Wall Street. Uh, Wall Street knows better, uh, but they know that it's a lot easier to make money uh, making a product for pennies in Asia and selling it for dollars in the United States than doing the opposite. If we had balanced trade with the world, even if we could just cut our trade deficit in half, we'd have a labor shortage. We'd be talking about 
Not, not, you wouldn't be doing stories on, on NBC about lines of people lining up for a few jobs. You'd be doing stories about how employers were, have, were, were serving caviar to get people to come and interview for jobs. That's the report I want to see. We're talking with Congressman Brad Sherman, Democrat of Sherman Oaks. We'll have a few more questions when we return.